Okay, everybody. Here's a fun example of a motherboard that's going to be, need to be reflowed. This motherboard is a pull out of an HP system or a compact system and has the NVIDIA GeForce 6150 LE Northbridge chip. And I put this motherboard in this system about two or three years ago when I built a system for my neighbor. And for the most part, it's worked perfectly fine. But it's over here today because um, of issues, I mean, random issues like. For some reason, under Windows Vista corrupted itself and it would not start. But that's not the only problem I'm seeing. This motherboard likes to play dead. And it's, you know, I made videos about this before. What happens is the, the Northridge chip, there's little solder pads on the bottom of it. And over time, they um, get little cracks in them due to, you know, heat cycling. And eventually, what happens is. Eventually, you'll cut, you'll try to turn your computer on, and it will not start. I mean, it, you'll hear the fans, but nothing on the screen. Now, I've heard about this little um, remedy to get the uh, motherboard to start, and it's kind of weird. But it, I mean, it does make sense. You press your finger down on the Northridge heatsink. This applies pressure to the chip, and sometimes it'll actually get the system to post. Now, watch this. I'm going to start the system up and you're going to see nothing on the display. Now the system was just working not long ago. That's why the fans are running slow. Smart fan is working on, this, on the motherboard. You notice nothing on the display. I'm going to press the reset button a few times. Still nothing. Now, of course, if your motherboard is still on an original HP computer, you don't have a reset button. But um, this particular case does, and as you see, it's doing nothing. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press my finger on this Northridge heatsink, which is pretty hot. So there's heat transfers there. But um, I'm going to put this camera at the monitor. You can watch it. I'm going to press my finger on that heatsink, press down, and press the reset button. Finger is applied against, well, my thumb is applied against the heatsink, and I'm pressing the reset button now. And voila, it starts. Now look at that. Now anyways, this is not a way to properly fix your computer, <laughs> just so you know. Um, this is, you know, a way to temporarily get your system back on so they can do other things with it. I'm going to go ahead and install Windows 7 on this thing. And then when I get time later today, I'm going to go out to the garage. I'm going to take the motherboard out of this thing. And I'm going to perform a reflow procedure on it. So watch this for the end of video. I'm going to shut the computer down because i got to plug a couple of things back in. Unplug it because it wants to start back up. Now when I plug this thing back in, the fan's going to be loud this time. Yeah, let me connect one more cable. Now this time, you can actually watch me press down on the heatsink, and you'll hear the fan slow down once it posts. So anyways, I'm going to plug it back in. So as you see, now it's not wanting to post. I can press reset. Still does nothing. Now watch this. Again, apply my thumb onto the heatsink and apply some pressure. Not too much, just a little bit. Press reset. And it starts.
and I can see a reflow um, fixing this one to where it will last for a good while. It's usually, um, in regards to reflows, they're hit or miss. If your motherboard has been dead for many years and you can't get it started at all, chances are a reflow will not work. I mean, it'll work for about a week and then your motherboard will start working again. But if you have a case like this where your motherboard sometimes posts and sometimes doesn't, or it posts when you apply some finger pressure to the heatsink, chances are a reflow will work. Anyways, I have plenty of videos on reflowing motherboards, and I'll probably post a link to one in the description of this video. So anyways, this is just a way you can tell if your NVIDIA GeForce based motherboard is in need of a reflow. If it plays dead and you actually apply pressure to the um, heat sink and it started up and it starts like it's supposed to, that usually means it needs to be reflowed. Okay everybody, I just performed a reflow procedure on this motherboard on the Northbridge chip. Now for a moment of truth, let's see if it will start on its own without having to press down on the Northbridge chip. Starts right up. So there you go, that was a successful reflow procedure. So anyways, thanks for watching.